welcome back to Joe Talks Cars. Welcome to another video. As you've just seen, we've stayed at Cafe Machine here, and it's been an awesome stay. It's such a cool venue. In fact, last night they had an Air Cooled Appreciation Society. You might have seen my video covering it. It was a totally unexpected surprise because we're staying at the Caffeine and Machine because it's not too far from Millbrook Proving Ground. That is where we're heading today to do what is called the SMMT. The SMMT is a annual event held at the Millbrook Proving Ground and it consists of all the different manufacturers turning up, us jumping in and out of cars and testing out all of the latest models from all the big manufacturers. There's some highlights there. Maserati are there along with Cupra. We're really, really excited to get behind the wheel of some of the new stuff. It's gonna be an awesome day and I can't wait. But while we're up early and um, out on the road, I thought I would just cover off a video about what is currently wrong with this car. So as you've seen in previous videos, it has had the engine management light on for some time. Now, this is an intermittent fault. It keeps going off all the time and to be honest, I've kind of got used to it. The temperature gauge was dropping to zero, saying it was cold when the car clearly was not cold. And I thought, I do need to get it into a garage. So the car is booked in. In fact, by the time this video goes out, it's probably already in the garage getting fixed. But I remembered something. I have a Wi-Fi OBD port reader. And I thought maybe I would do this video today, plug it in and see what fault codes are coming up because the coolant light has sorted itself out. I haven't had that problem in weeks. It, in fact, it's getting up to temperature nicely and it's sitting right in the middle, no issues whatsoever. But the engine management light still is on and will not go off. And if experience is anything to go by, like my Golf GTI, the engine management light stays on, could be the fault that I already know about. More than likely, the car has another fault, or it could have but I wouldn't know because the engine management light is just on. It's not like you have two engine management lights. If it's on, it's on. And um, yeah, I'm a bit concerned that there might be something else wrong with the car. So in this video, I'm gonna get my OBD port out and plug it in and find out what faults the Cayman has. Right, well I've got my very cheap OBD Wi-Fi reader, which you can pick up on Amazon or eBay or anything like that. I'll put a link in the description for this one, but I think it only cost about a tenner. So I'm gonna get that plugged in, connect up my phone, let's read what these fault codes are. Hopefully there's just one, and it's just about this coolant sensor. But hopefully it will give me an idea of what is actually wrong with this car, because it's been driving me mad. It's an intermittent fault, which are the worst types, and um, yeah, it'll give me a little bit more of an understanding before it goes into the garage. So, yeah, let's get this plugged in. Right, I've got my OBD reader connected, connected to my phone. So I'll share the screen of my phone now and we'll see what this brings up. Right, so we've got a few codes which have popped up on the car. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not 100% sure what all these are. So first of all, I've got heater control circuit, bank one, sensor one. I have no idea what the heater control sensor unit is. I'm assuming it's to do with the coolant system. I have no idea. I'm going to have to Google these. And what I'll do is I'll Google them and I'll write in the description what each of these codes mean. And hopefully between us and with some comments from you guys, we can get better understanding on what we think is wrong with this. O2 sensor circuit, no activity. Well, that's a Lambda sensor. So that could be why the engine management light is now permanently on and before it was just intermittent, depending on this heater control circuit. So that makes sense. Invalid data received from the ECM and PCM. I think that's a combination of both things. I think that's just reading the codes that the car is sending to it, reading the information, and it's coming back kind of weird. So that's obviously going to throw that code up. But this heater control circuit, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, like I said, I'll Google them put them in the description below and um, yeah, we'll try and decipher what these codes are. Like I said, the car will probably be already in the garage by the time this video goes live, it's probably already fixed. But I thought it was a really good idea to come out today and test out these really cheap OBD readers. Something I wanted to mention in this video 
It's something I've been driving around in the car for weeks with, and it's been smelling amazing. It comes from Drift Mist. So Drift Mist is a premium car air freshener company. They make amazing fragrances that last weeks and weeks on end. They come in this really nice box. All their fragrances are based on your designer favorites. And this one is very similar to Sauvage. You simply unscrew the cap, put the lid back on, hold it upside down for around 10 seconds to allow it to infuse into this piece of wood in the top. And then you just tie it onto your rear view mirror. These things are epic and it makes the car smell amazing. And I just want to say thank you to Drift Mist for sending me this in the post because it has really, I've really enjoyed having it in the car. I'm definitely going to order some more. If you want to order one of these or one of their other fragrances, then check the link in the description and you'll get some money off as well. So yeah, Drift Mist, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. <laughs> So anyway, what is next for the Cayman? Well, of course, it's going into the garage. By the time this video goes out, the car will probably be fixed or waiting for parts. But we will get to the bottom of this issue. I just thought it would be quite an interesting video just to plug one of these cheap OBD readers in and see what faults it throws at me. I was genuinely surprised about what it threw up and I'm a bit worried now when it goes into the garage. How many faults does this car have and why is it still faulting? It's had a full engine rebuild and the problems just never seem to stop with it. This is true Porsche ownership and this is why a lot of you are subscribed to get the true feeling of what it's like to own a 17 year old Porsche. And on that, if you want to see more of this car, you want to see what it's like to own a 17 year old Porsche, all the trials and tribulations that go with it, and please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I want to take this channel to the next level and my aim currently is to get the channel to 5,000 subscribers. That's a tall order and my aim is to do that by the time I get to Goodwood. So 5,000 subscribers for Goodwood. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please consider doing so so we can hit that amazing milestone and take this channel to the next level. But anyway without further waffle from me I'm going to crack on with this journey now and head to the SMMT. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for plenty more videos like this one to come. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.